What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? <laughs> Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely.
Did you think that I would be? Well, I'm, it's pretty good. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here. This has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But 
Your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate? Lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another, for your own sake. This? Only when I worry. How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neathhoek? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Neethode's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. 
I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard, how I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. We should get down to the wolves, brother. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better than from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Hmm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, they herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. I'm not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle was seeking. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you to be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remain. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal, wise, clever. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like 
being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Namir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Stay is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Old. Prepare for a fight. Which only made me more determined to try. Bother, what of your story? You face the fates of your homeland, yeah? Quiet. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. It looks like a natural. Do they match the ones in that recipe book we found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Incoming fire!
way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> Now, brother, what about when you faced the fates of Greece? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. Brother. Look. That must be Tyr's helmet, from his statue. Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. <laughs> Fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. This is the area. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Brother, wait. Let's see what Freya found. Opna. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Side, 
You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've been studying and I can forge some new equipment for you. I'm here for you. Strike true. Whatever you need, I'll create. Till we meet again. picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Rimthur whispered to you? Who? Rimthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Old. We will finish later. That's all of them. These were coal raiders. Infamous for eating them. wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. Oh! If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. 
We need to work our way up. This way. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns mm. making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Above your fire! <laughs> Another raider to the left. <laughs> I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write not a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother.
Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. something. It's stronger this time. Over here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Everyone hearing that creepy whisper. It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. He was guarding that way outside. Hostile memory of that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Close in! Attack! 
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred <coughs> duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! Mother. My boy. I feel everything. Well 
Caesar, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! This is all your doing, mother! I am so sick of your constant meddling! What you did to me! What you did to me! It won't stop. It won't stop. It won't stop. You will not touch me. You will not harm him. Nobody harms my boy. Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass! Nimi! Secret? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie! Nimi! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You plotted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you turned on me! I know, Sigrun. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Skadi? To Groa? Or to Talia? No! You only took the side of the powerful men who you Brother, said. watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent god in need and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you always did! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. 
Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You had to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. Own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. <laughs> 